we are in Tromsø, northern Norway and uh, it's about 10 in the evening. We're gonna meet up with a guy called Johan who is from the Netherlands and he's uh, working as a northern lights guide here in Tromsø and he has some good insights on how to take great pictures of the northern lights so hopefully he'll teach them to us. John, I uh, work as a Northern Lights guide here in Tromsø, Norway, and I'll give you guys a couple tips how to set your camera if you want to take pictures of the Northern Lights. All right, so tip number one, we'll, uh, we'll set our ISO settings. So you want to go up to 1600 just to start with. If your camera can handle more, it's always better to go, go a little higher. Um, I sometimes use 2500 or 3200. Kind of depends on how fast the lights move and how bright it is. And then the next thing you want to set is your aperture. So you want to go as open as possible. So that means a low number. So the number after the F should be as low as possible. In this case, it's 1.8. Your lens might be a little different. Uh, so just go as low as possible and then you should be good. And the next thing you want to do is setting your shutter speed. So I would say maybe try go up to 10 or 15 seconds. I'm gonna go up to five seconds for now, just to see what it looks like. And then, yeah, we'll take a couple test pictures. So if it's too bright, you can go a little faster. If it's too dark, of course, you can set a longer shutter speed, maybe 20 seconds, 25. I'm gonna start with five and just, just see what it looks like. So the next thing you wanna set is your white balance. Most cameras will be on auto or on daylight settings. We wanna go down to this one. This little symbol says uh, fluorescent or four. I would say try to stay between 3200 and 4000 Kelvin. Uh, that's kind of like the night settings and that will make the normal lights look like natural. So tip number two is uh, setting your focus. It's very important to keep your lens on manual focus and your camera as well, maybe just in case. Uh, so focusing in the dark might be a little tricky, but there's a few kind of tricks you can do. But the first way to do it is just figuring out your infinity point during the day and then you can make a little mark on your lens uh, or just remember exactly where it was. So you can easily, you know, switch, your, switch on your headlight and then you can set it to infinity and then you're good to go. So the second way to do it is uh, zoom in and live view. That's the way I always do it and it's, for me it's just the best way. So you go into live view if your camera can do it and then you just zoom in. So you don't use the lens, but you use the zoom function in your menu. Uh, usually there's like a little light in the back. So over there, there's like a little house in the background. And if it's really dark and you can use the stars too, but in this case, we'll use this. So there's like a house with a couple lights in the back. So you zoom in all the way and then you can set your focus to where it's sharp. There you go. And then you can go out of live view and then you're good to go. As a tip three, um, always use a tripod unless you have a very steady hand. I don't, especially if it's cold. You know, you want your camera to be steady, like any vibrations, because we're working with a long shutter speed, you'll see in the picture, you know, so we want to have a sharp picture. So yeah, always use a tripod. And another thing that really helps and that really gets rid of any vibration um, is using a timer so you can set your camera to a timer where it takes a picture in maybe for example, two seconds, set, set your timer. There you go, one, two, and it takes a picture for you. That's one way of doing it. Uh, the other way is using a remote. I got this little one right here. Just plug it into your camera. And then you're good to go. So, so that way you don't touch your camera. There's no vibrations and you get a sharp picture. So tip number four is on how to take portrait pictures with uh, northern lights in the background. All right, so first you want to get the person in focus. So you'll turn on your head torch, or in this case, I'll use the, the light of the camera because that's bright enough already. And that way you just light up your 
subject and you focus on him or her, or her. And usually I change the aperture maybe up to two and a half, three, three and a half, kind of depends. And then I set my shutter speed to about five seconds. So the thing you want to do is now is maybe maybe you have a flash with you or a, a torch or in this case I'll use my phone. I prefer using my phone because the light is kind of more spread out and it lights up the people more like even. So the thing you want to do is you take your picture and then afterwards you just flash your phone real quick. So there we go. Five seconds. Flash. So that way you light up the person and there's still normal lights in the background. Yeah. So you got the long shutter speed to get the normal lights in there. And then just because you flash with your light or your phone, you can also light up the person and that way you can see both in focus. All right, so the last thing is just make sure you dress up warm, bring nice and warm gloves, wear, I don't know, three or four layers, depending on how cold it is, wear a warm jacket, a beanie, make sure to move around a little bit because you, you know, you gotta be standing still in the cold a lot. Just make sure to stay warm, move around a little bit if there's no other lights. It's a bit of a waiting game too sometimes and you just have to see what happens and yeah i mean just stay warm bring hot drinks you know coffee tea or something if you can build a campfire if you want just make sure you stay warm and uh enjoy your night